is that? White House is coming out live. My fellow Americans, this is a momentous occasion. It is profoundly moving to know there is intelligent life out there. Alien life. And our world will never feel quite the same again. <clears throat> hey, we all make mistakes, Mr. President. Mars attacks. Not anymore. I'll tell you one thing, they ain't getting a TV. E.T. phone home. Look out. So, um, potentially, I guess, from at least what they're telling us, it's going to find a, another Earth-like planet that's got water. Or they're going to find another Earth-like planet that has E.T., e whether that be wee green men or, I don't know, sheep, like here. I guess, right? It seems like it's coming. Um, we kind of predicted it, actually. We did say about two years ago, eventually they'll come out and say, oh, we found a planet, we can see um, life forms similar to that on Earth. And I think that will happen. I personally couldn't buy it, but I don't think it's far away. I think it's even closer now than it, than it has ever been. This is the story of the week for me, this. Imagine being Professor Niku. Professor Niku is an astrophysicist at Cambridge University. Picture the scene. Professor Niku is quietly studying the data gathered on yet another exoplanet, discovered some unfathomably far distance away from Earth. And as Professor Niku stares at the data of yet another exoplanet in yet another solar system, they notice something. This is where the suspenseful music would come in during the Netflix episode of this discovery. The professor stares harder at the data. It can't be, he says. Is it life? The James Webb Space Telescope is set to turn its gaze towards a distant planet, K218b in another solar system, to investigate one of the most tantalizing hints of alien life ever discovered. This, folks, could be it. And our protagonist, the scientist who may have discovered life out there in the universe, is Professor Niku Madhusudan, Professor of Astrophysics and Exoplanetary Science at the University of Cambridge, who joins me live. Thank you very much indeed for coming on the programme. Um, right, we've, we, I think we've got, the de we've got the deeds to your life story sewn up here. We, we now own the rights to this. Um, tell us where and when you found this. So last year, uh, we had uh, some JWST observations with the James Webb Space Telescope of this planet, uh, its atmosphere, and we detected for the first time ever carbon-bearing molecules like methane and CO2 uh, in its atmosphere and did not detect other molecules like ammonia which said that it should, it's likely to have an ocean uh, underneath the atmosphere. But we also saw a tentative sign of this molecule dimethyl sulfide which we weren't sure but still even the very possibility of it being there is enormous. So this is, this is dimethyl sulfide? Yeah. That's, that's the important gas. And why is that gas yeah. so important? It's important because uh, on Earth, it is produced only from life, uh, only um, mainly from microorganisms in the Earth's oceans. And it has been uh, known to be a robust biomarker if detected in planetary environments. And it had been predicted uh, to be so. And we had been looking for it. And, and that's why it's super important. My fellow Americans, this is a momentous occasion. It is profoundly moving to know there is intelligent life out there. Alien life. And our world will never feel quite the same again. I'm making plays. I'm making plays. I'm making hits. I'm making hits. I'm making plays. I'm making plays. I never miss. I never miss. Haters gonna hate. I'll tell you one thing. They ain't getting a TV.